In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a 2D linkage animation in CATIA V5 in the Part Design Workbench. So, go to the Start Mechanical Design Part Design, click OK. Now, uh, select the sketch and activate any of the pro uh, any of the planes over here. And uh, once that is done, you need to create piston and connecting routes. So, for piston, I'm uh, creating a rectangle, and I'm uh, going to put this rectangle inside one fix okay and click OK now I'm gonna create two walls over here I'm gonna create two walls okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna see how this moves okay see what happens is this walls uh, dimension is keep on changing so what I need to do I need to give uh, two dimensions so that uh, the wall will be fixed over here so, but still it's moving. So what you need to do, fix any of the one wall so that the complete thing won't ever move again. So, now keep it anywhere over here and uh, create a point on the piston and uh, create two connecting roads, okay, according to your requirement. Select another one, create another one okay once that is done uh, arrange it to the right position whatever you require and see in this uh, the connecting roads see whatever you're doing is you're giving the constraints or you're giving the dimensions of for whatever have the proper dimension and the variable as it is so as you can see the lengths of the connecting road will be fixed so I'm giving the lengths to be fixed once this constraining is done it won't ever change so what happens over here this is completely moving why is it happening is because this point was not included in this fix so what you can do S double click on this fix and select this particular point and click OK now again this point is to be fixed now so select this particular point and give fix once again now let's see what is going to rotate is this connecting road so if I rotate it over here what happens is as this point as this point this point and this point is fixed and this two dimensions are to be remained constant it moves exactly like this okay so this can represent the animation over here so what you can do finally is uh, you need to give the animate constraint right now so what you can do bring this wall a little bit over here and uh, reduce this into some uh, 35 or 30 or anything okay and see okay and you can reduce this to some 90 if you want okay as you can see now bring it over here and give an axis now comes the animate constraint option now give the dimension over here and go to the animate constraint click 0 and uh, 360 degree and 150 and give repeat and play as you can see you can just pause and uh, so that this will uh, play in the clockwise direction hide the constraint so that uh, you won't see the constraint while the animation is running so this is it so if you like my video you can subscribe to me and uh, hopefully I'll be putting more videos regarding uh, CATI v 5 and uh, even the beginners can also keep seeing my channels because I'm gonna put some basic videos also soon very soon hope you enjoyed the video have a nice day thank you